one of the things that makes it special is an incredible amount of laboratory support space. And so we wanted to be able to kind of turn in the walls a little bit. So it's still open, it's still open. You still have neighbors you're connected to, but the building gets more and more open as you go out. So we'll be taking this model, refining it, and applying it to the next five research buildings we're gonna be doing similar to the Loki building. So we've introduced slope ceilings and we've introduced a significant amount of glass story to get as much daylight in as possible. Installed strut rails in all spaces before the spaces were occupied. They've got a spot to anchor to regardless of the equipment that moves in and out. What we did is we created a, a powder coated extruded aluminum fastening rail that we put down the center of workbenches that allowed access from both sides of the benches and allows the user just to release and click things on. There are motion sensitive lights that go off only in earthquakes and the light will stay on for two days. It's great for search and rescue. So we have a unique opportunity to experiment with new types of earthquake mitigation. What our health and safety people are saying is that in an earthquake event, we'll be competing against all your companies um, to get a water bath, to be able to get anything within these facilities. So even a $50 water bath, as cheap as that might sound, it is easy to get in a normal circumstances if there's 200 biotechs out there trying to get that same water bath. That is a business continuity issue. So to, to enhance the idea of the neighborhoods, um, we've chosen uh, blues and greens in certain sections. Other sections you'll see are kind of a reds and yellows. So just to increase uh, wayfinding for, or wayfinding your sense of identity for the places. This interstitial space runs the entire length of the building. It's uh, 200,000 square feet. What's little known about the building is it actually extends out beyond the footprint of what you see upstairs. So the basement is actually about 15 to 20% larger than upstairs. So any kind of renovation we'd need down at our barrier is just critical because we can't afford to have our contractors come in and get suited up, get unsuited. Possibility of contamination within a barrier by barium is just really too real. So we've actually spent a considerable amount of money to put in this interstitial and, and make it as large as it is. We think uh, as relative order of things, it could have been between four and a half to five million dollars we saved just because of the schedule conflicts that we never saw because of the use of BIM. I know you guys are experts this in your field, but we won't. We will no longer do a building without without doing the whole thing in 3D and doing the conflict resolution. So. So about 10 years ago, $400 million spent by the NIH to sequence one human genome. The gentleman that actually runs this lab, and the person who runs this lab, Norman Neff and Steve Quake, are actually working with equipment that have brought that cost down for a human genome to 50,000 a copy, and they're headed to $1,000 a copy. So now a lot, of the, the thing, a lot of the work they're doing is how do you deal with that much data, how much process it is. We have a really big problem with people taking ID cards and getting into spaces they shouldn't because their neighbor has access to it. So what we've done is we put in a biometric system so you can be able to uh, badge in with their, their ID and their thumbprint. So this actually checks their thumbprint. The other problem we have are people that, uh, that tailgate. The people that tailgate, so somebody would follow in behind somebody that actually has access. So there's a gate here. This alarms security. It also gets the person that allowed the tailgating in trouble. So anything that comes into the facility is sprayed, inspected. There's an air shower on the other side. Anything that goes out of the facility is obviously wrapped up and handled appropriately. Mm -hmm.